Well, hello there and welcome back to Skyrim. Thanks for joining me again. We're here with Inigo. He's wearing his cool elven armor. It's pretty cool looking. I don't think it kind of clashes with his face a little bit though, maybe. I don't know. Something, maybe it's the color of his, his fur that it clashes with a little bit. But I mean, it is cool looking armor. Uh, and hopefully it's protecting Inigo. So we fast traveled over here to another place that um, somebody from Fort Dawnguard has asked us to visit this time. This is a Serene Gerard when she has sent us here to retrieve the Dwemer Exploding Ice Bolt schematic from Trevor's watch. She will be able to use it to master new technology to provide to the Dawnguard members. Well, not that we care, but we talked to her and she did ask us to do it, so the least we could do is do it for her. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. Then we are going to go back to Fort Dawnguard and, um, you know, report back to Serene, report back to Gunmar or whatever his name is. And then we're not going to do any more uh, stuff for the peeps down at Fort Dawnguard because they're just going to keep giving us stuff to do. They're just taking advantage of us, man. Look how cool this looks, by the way. I just love the lighting here. It is uh, 10, 10 a.m. And I mean, the lighting is just beautiful. Really digging it. Trevor's Watch is a place that we visited before. If you uh, look at the map, you'll see that it says cleared, but that does not mean that we will not find anybody here. We've learned that the hard way. Oh, I remember this when I was here before. I was wondering if I could break that, those boards and get down in there, but I didn't find a way to do it. I don't know if I remember what this lever does. What does this do? Did I did I ever figure this out? Do we see anything happen? I mean, we hear a sound, but um, does it lock this door? <laughs> I don't know what this does, and. Like I said, I don't remember if I found out what it did the last time I was here. It might have been something that I saw and then meant to investigate and never did. Or that, um, oh, there we go. Right here. This is it. So we could, we could lock people out or in in this case. We'll leave it locked and see what happens. So we're going to go in here to... Get this exploding bolt schematic. What are the odds that we just waltz in here? The hell? That was a strange sound effect. Iron great sword here. Okay. There's a trap right there. There's one right there. So I think Inigo is smart. Inigo is smart enough not to walk on traps. Look like he stepped right over that one. Oh, I think I heard talking down there. Here's a chest. It's empty. Yep, definitely hear some talking. Quite a bit of talking. What are these guys chatting about? Whatever I'm looking for is in that direction. If we look at the map, does it look like it's right there? Don't know how I get to it though. Don't know if it's above me or below me or. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably up here. Let's try this. Maybe it's up here. Oh, there's a dude right there. A bandit marauder. Did he not see me? Who's going to have whose head now? Oh gosh, there's a bunch of them here. Hey, swing, dude. You know what, I tell you what, I'm impressed this guy. He's putting up a fight. Mercy. Pathetic. Uh, let's see, we'll take his gold. 
lockpick, and you know it, arrows. And we'll do the same to this guy. Ooh, he's got quite a bit of gold. Everybody okay? <laughs> What's up, dude? He can apparently see through walls. Ooh, scary. So that reminds me. What do I have equipped right now? Do I have my shock stuff on? Yeah, I do. Let's put this fire resist stuff on because this guy appears to be cast in fire. Oh, he's dead. Good job, Indigo. Ooh, a book, too. Huh. I might already have that book. I don't have my notes open, so I can't check. Uh, what's up, bandit thug with an arrow right through your head? What do you got? A lockpick. Anything cool in the chest? Well, yes. Ooh, an amethyst. Um, Dwarven Hall. What is that? There's the Dwemer exploding ice bolt schematic that we came here to get. I don't know what Dwarven Hall is. Well, let's take it and see what it is. And some gold. Skirmisher's Draft. Hide Armor of Health. That's uh, worth quite a bit. I don't know. We'll take that too. Leave the other stuff behind. Bunch of iron ingots. A coin purse with 13 gold in it. Ooh. Enchanter's Elixir. Book called Twin Secrets. Uh, some spell tomes. Eh. Knapsack. Take the potion. Take the circlet. Okay. So, we picked up Dwarven Hall. Is it a book? What is it? What, what is it that we picked up? Dwarven Hall. It says, hands off the Dwarven Hall until we know who wants this stuff. Word's gone out to find a buyer. Until then, anyone caught snooping around in here will get his hands cut off. Did we read that before? I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar. But we got what we came here to get. And now, it says, uh, just return to Serene, so let's get out of here. Well, he's pretty cool looking in this light, though, huh? Let's see if, any, if he has anything to say about this place. Mm-hmm. You got any thoughts, dude? No, my mind is a song without words right now. Oh, man, I'm going to start using that. In my morning meetings with my boss when he asked me what's up. That's what I'm going to say. Alright. Um. Don't really think there's any reason for us to stick around in here. So let's just go ahead and get the heck out of here. Job done. Head on back to Fort Dawnguard. And, um. Here, let's see if he steps on that. No, he avoided it. How is it that some rando <laughs> is able to program our followers to avoid traps where. Uh. The original game programmers weren't able to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look here. Does the, the people from Fort Dawnguard want me to do anything else? I don't think so, because um, Florentius didn't give us anything to do. He told us to talk to Gunmar. So where are we on the map right now, anyway? We are here and we want to go to Fort Dawnguard which is over here um hmm I'm trying to think here what do I want to do uh it's been suggested that I travel with Inigo because he's going to have some things to talk about um and we will do that but I don't think I want to do it just yet I mean I don't know. We're just doing these like random things here just to get them off my list. We'll start uh, traveling with Inigo when I start doing quests that I feel like are more important. Where I feel like the actual journey uh, is just as important as the quest itself. And that is not the case right now. I'm just checking things off of a list right now. And I just want to get them checked off the list so we can move on to other things that may or may not be more exciting. Hey, look who it is. It's, it's Serana. Serana, what's up? Do you need something? 
Uh, come with me, will you? I knew you'd miss me. Okay, so she's gonna travel with us for a little bit here. Uh, Inigo, Inigo, meet Serana. Serana, meet Inigo. Uh huh. I'm afraid not. He has no thoughts. He has nothing to say to me, or to Serana. Nothing. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Uh, my mind is a song with no words. Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Uh huh. Hey, uh, Serene. How I like what Isran has done with the place. Which friends would it's good to see someone else who's really prepared. Hey, I'm back from Trevor's watch with the Dwemer exploding ice bolt schematic. I don't know. Let's How see what you've got there. Getting them into that pen I and see. Armor on them? Similar to the it's exploding bolt, only this one will cause doing. damage with splintering shards of yeah, ice sharp, sharp as glass. Charming. Here, let me show you how it's made. Okay. Dwarven... Assuming you have the oh. smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. Great. Okay, I am not going to ask her what I could do to help. Don't get yourself Because she's just going to send me off for something else. Which, I mean, it, it may be a cool thing, another exploding bolt thing, but I don't care. Uh, so let us switch now to uh, Preemptive Strike and find out where Gunmar is. He is right over here, and we'll complete this. Hey, Gunmar. Cozy little place, isn't this? Yeah, not bad. This is fine for now, but we can't stay hold up here forever. Mm -hmm. Hey, I destroyed that Nightmaster Vampire at Ron Vig's Fast. Excellent. That's one less beast and nest of broodlings we needn't worry about any longer. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's see. Keep yourself armed and protected as best you can. Let me see. Do I have anything that I want to get off my chest here? Uh, let's see. Um... Dwarven Boots of Dwindling Frost. This is actually what she, Serene, just gave to us. I have no intention of ever using these. I don't care about frost resistance. I'm a freaking Nord. So let's go ahead and sell him these. And, um... I could have swore I gave this to... Did I, didn't I give this to... Inigo? Uh, I've been told that I should be using these. Two-handed attacks do 30% more damage. Uh, compared to these... Okay. So, I mean... I, yes, these. this is pretty cool. Two-handed attacks do 30% more damage. But I already have these, where two-handed attacks do 26% more damage. These are exquisite. So they're at 91 armor versus these, which is 72 armor. Yeah, I can make these exquisite. And I'm sure that'll get them up to 91 armor. So it's not like it's that big of a difference, really. But, yes, definitely worth pointing out. And why not get 4% more damage? So I'll see if I can't make these exquisite. And if I can, we'll start using these instead of these. Although they're really just about the same thing. Uh, what else to sell to this guy? Hide armor of health. Yeah, increases my armor by that many points. Who cares? Vampire armor of peerless conjuration. That's pretty cool, but I don't need it. And he's got a little bit of money left over, so we'll sell him this. And we'll sell him this, and we'll sell him this. And um, even these black mage robes. I don't need those, even though they're very cool looking. And do I have anything else to bleed this guy completely dry? So he has no gold left at all. We'll sell him this poison. And bada boom, bada bing. Fight bravely, friend. So we've uh, removed those quests from our list. And like I said, I have no intention of taking any more quests from them. So let's get the heck out of here. Now, I, I picked up Serana because in the comments section a while back, somebody suggested that I go back to wherever... Uh, Serana's mother is. Is she still in the... Is it called the Soul Cairn? I think she's still there. Uh, so it's been suggested that maybe I go back there. No, I'm not going to walk all the way up there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fast travel over there. And uh, see if we can't... Where the hell is this place? See if we can't um, say hello to... 
Serana's mother. I don't know, man. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. See if anything happens. See if Inigo has anything to say about the Soul Cairn. Where are you, Serana? There she is. There's Serana. She was hiding behind Inigo. Okay, so in here we go into the study. Valerica, that's Serana's mom's name. It's her study. Okay. To Soul Cairn. Yo! Oh man, Inigo's not allowed in here, is he? <laughs> he has to wait outside, doesn't he? Yeah. He can't come with us. That's true, he, he, he can't. He's not... part vampire, or, and he's not... He hasn't had his soul captured or something. To the Soul Cairn we go. Oh well, sorry Inigo. That's okay, we'll rejoin you shortly. I hope her mother's easy to find because I don't remember where the heck she was. Here we are back in the Soul Cairn. Where in the world are we going to find her mother? Golly, man, what am I doing here? Um... Where was her mother? She was like in the main area. And heck if I know where that is or remember where that is. But I think it's over here maybe? I really do not remember at all. There's no escape. There's... There's no escape. Where'd you come from? Oh. Come on. Come on, Serana. We got work to do. We didn't come here to fight everything. I sure hope this is where her mother is. I think it's straight ahead. How's it going? Serana. Come on, this is this is for you, all right? Let's go. Come on. Can't say that I missed this place, and I can't say that I'm excited to be back. This is the right place. Hey, look who it is. You appear to have something on your mind. What is it? Uh, well, I mean. I, you, it's safe for you to come back now. I, I, I killed your husband. Have something on your mind. What is it? Let's see. I could use help with the crystals around here. Will I be able to safely revisit the Soul Cairn and Harkon is dead? What does she say to this? Absolutely. I've spent a great deal of time perfecting an extract that increases the potency of soul husks. If you wanted to bring some to me, I'd be happy to provide you some of the extract. It should help resist the draining aura of the crystals. Hmm, okay. Oh, pff, how many do you need? Hmm. I'd say five of them would be enough. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. Uh, will I be able to safely revisit the Soul Cairn? Well, we're here now. But let's see what she says to this. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Ah. Uh. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it. And in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. You're right. Oh, by the way, uh, Harkon's dead. What? Are you certain? Yeah, I, I killed him. Then I see nothing preventing my return to Tamriel. 
Allow me to gather some of my things, and I'll head back to Castle Volkahar. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. You're welcome. You're, you are very, very welcome. I'll return to Castle Volkahar as soon as I'm finished gathering my things. Okay, good. You know what? <laughs> I just realized that uh, I didn't have um, Inigo pick up that Castle book Volcahar in Trevor's watch. Oh, well, like things. I said, I'm pretty sure I already have it. Cure Disease Potion, Charred Skeever Hide, and Mud Crab Chitin. That's important. Varieties of Daedra, Immortal Blood. I'll return to Castle oh, okay. I think she's I'm trying to gathering my things. tell me to leave. So, we can't fast travel from here, can we? <laughs> can I just get the heck out of here? No, you cannot. Okay, so we need to make this long trek all the way back over here. So let's do that. Problem is, to be honest with you, is that where I'm going? Over there? To this wall right here? I... I actually am not sure. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I mean, I have so much stamina. Might as well make use of it. I don't know if Saronic could keep up with us or not, but that's her problem. <laughs> Where is she? Are you coming with me, Serana? Huh? Hey, Serana. Beats me. It's her problem. Um. I don't think. I, I, I'm going to guess that once we go back to Castle Volcahar. Valerica will be there, and then maybe Serrano will have something to say to or about her mother. Because in the comments, I was told to bring Serrano with me when I did this. And Serrano didn't have anything to say back there. We'll see if she has anything to say back in Castle Volcahar. Hopefully, we won't have to wait long for her mother to come back. Hey, there she is. You got anything you want to say? Oh, what is it? Uh, no. No, nothing. It might take decades oh. to restore the castle to its former glory. But I appear to have plenty of time. Oh, okay. Alright, back to the ruins. Maybe she's gonna fix the place up. It might take decades to restore the castle to its former glory. But I appear to have plenty of time. Yeah. That's a cool looking Daedra heart, huh? Practically glows. Okay, well there she is. I don't want to accidentally walk back into the Soul Cairn. So we're going to give it a white berth. Okay. So here she is, she's walking, she's walking, mother and daughter, reuniting, or not. You guys have anything you want to say to each other? She, you're just going to walk around? It might take decades to restore the castle to its former glory. But I appear to have plenty of time. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that. Help yourself to anything you need in my laboratory. Um... Well, before we talk to her. Do you need something? No. Nothing. Ah. It's good to be home again. Oh good. I'm glad I'm glad uh glad you're home. It might take decades to restore the castle to its former glory. But I appear to have plenty of time. Hey, can you give me blood cursed arrows? I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable giving them to you. I understand what you did for my family. But the prophecy never sat well with me, and I don't want to be a part of it. I'm sorry. That's fair. What are you going to do now? Well, I think it's time I got back to my work as an alchemist. The Soul Cairn will offer a unique opportunity to continue my studies, and I intend to complete my research. In the meantime, if there are any potions you might need, feel free to help yourself. 
Cool. All right. Well, there you go. We did it. Yay. Oh, what is it? Okay, then. She has uh, nothing to say. Okay, I'm not really sure why I was told to bring her with me. But, um... We did. And that's the end of that. So, you know, feel good that we told Valerica that Harkon's dead so that she could leave the Soul Cairn, return back to her home. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm glad we did that. Uh, here's Inigo right here. I was wondering, can you whistle? Uh, yeah, I can. Why do you ask? Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. <laughs> Maybe you should give it a look over. <laughs> anyway, what did you want to talk about? I tell you, whoever did the voice acting for him had a lot of fun. Uh, you got any thoughts, dude? I'm thinking this snow is pretty. I'm thinking the same thing. What's next? What's next? Well, that's a very, very good question. I don't know what's next. I don't know if these two will ever really talk to each other at this all. Must be that beautiful sky oh, oh gosh, I missed you about. so much, Serana. Let's see, what do I have in my quest lists? Oh, actually, before we do that, he... Um... Phew, he... Gave us something, is it a... Is it, is it something that we could do? Is it like a... Whistle to Inigo. Communicate to Inigo by whistling. Read the power of whistling to learn more. Well, no better time than the presence. The power of whistling. The power of whistling. Tactical, wordless communication for adventurers by Mildred Winslow. Oh, yowza. What is a whistle? It's a communication. A good hearty, hearty? <laughs> a good hearty whistle can be heard miles away. It can ride the wind. It can penetrate walls. It is a language without barriers. It is power. In recent years, the noble art of whistling has sadly been demoted to the realm of mere entertainment. Ha! Huh. Well, no longer. Here in these pages, I aim to show you the true power your lips possess. Getting started. 1. Learn to whistle. If you cannot whistle, stop reading now. The information I am about to import, impart is not for beginners or time wasters. Is there anything worse than a time waster? 2. Find a whistling partner. If your current adventuring companion does not have ears or cannot whistle, get a new companion. With the right partner, there is no need to agree on a variety of sounds. It's all about the context of the whistle, not the exact sound being made. With this in mind, make sure your partner has at least a modicum of situational awareness. Lesson 1. Come on, come on. Ask your companion to wait somewhere. Then, when you are ready, whistle to quickly ask them to follow you again. A whistle can travel further than a yell, so this technique is particularly useful when it's separated at distance. Lesson 2. Getting Tactical Whistle while brandishing a weapon, spell, or your fists to suggest an aggressive plan of attack to your partner. Whistle while your hands are lowered and empty to suggest an unaggressive approach. Your companion may not always vocally acknowledge your request. Don't worry. If they've read this book, you'll be on the same page whether they express it or not. Lesson 3. Accidents Happen Has a friendly sparring match ever gotten out of hand? Have you seen allies accidentally slaughter one another after a particularly confusing fight? A nice, healthy whistle can bring them to their senses in a hurry. Whistling is a powerful tool, but it cannot stand in the way of self-preservation. If your partner is still being attacked after you whistle, they will defend themselves. Note, using a whistle to stop your partner fighting will undoubtedly put them in an unaggressive mood. Use Lesson 2 once the dust has settled if you'd rather they continue in a more aggressive state. Lesson 4. Wait here, please. Whistling is by far the quickest way to ask your, your companion to wait in dangerous areas or relax in safe areas. 
simply whistle in their direction while within speaking distance and they will stay put until you indicate it's time to leave. See lesson one. Distance is key here. Whistle from too far away and they will reply with an I'm okay. Whistle of their own. Whistle while too close and they will assume you want them to change position. Lesson five, I wish you to perform a task. To signal that you wish your partner to perform a specific task, look at the ground and whistle. It may appear a bit odd to the uninitiated, but if your companion is familiar with this book, they will respond by entering the typical command mode most seasoned adventurers are familiar with. No further whistling is required. How individuals decide to command each other is their own business and outside the scope of this book. Lesson 6. Have fun! Whistling is a useful power that we should all master, but remember it's also fun! There's nothing lovelier than a little whistling while adventuring. Purse those lips and keep your spirits up. Well, that sounds like a ton of fun. Serana, pushing me around, nothing's changed. Okay, so, uh, still don't know what to do about this one. Um, new debt, that's in Solstheim. Close the rupture. That's like, I think, a main quest thing. As is this, repairing the file. I'm supposed to find some mammoth tusk powder, which I don't remember where that is. Taking care of business. This is, um, yeah, this is that whole business for Brynjolf in Riften. Uh, become a full member of the Thieves Guild. This, I think think is part of the main quest also i don't know the disturbed argonian named from deepest fathoms was wandering the rift and docks she insisted i take the lexicon she gave me back to avanch avanchenzel okay so that's not part of the main quest so avanchenzel is ooh way down here okay that's mighty interesting yeah let's do that Let's go to Av Angarvund, and we'll travel from there. It's not a very long walk, but uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to do. And then maybe we'll, before we go or on our way there, we'll practice a little bit of whistling and see how that goes. So if I want to whistle, I need to go in here into my magic. I need to favorite that. And then I go here, and I choose this, and um, I say, hey, man, in you go. Whistle if you need me, okay? Okay, I will. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Uh-huh. So now we can go over here. And Inigo should stay where he is. There he is. <laughs> and now I'm going to whistle. And here he comes. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's actually very cool. All right, here he comes. Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. Um, what if I want him to... Ooh, here's some notes here. Interesting. What if I want him to pick that book up? One thing I could do is walk over here and command him this way, or I could look at the ground. I will aid you if I can. And then I could tell him to read those. Fair enough. And there he goes. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, and then to get out of this, I guess okay. I just tab. Lead the way. Okay, and then uh, the other things are uh, when we're in battle, uh, if I've got my dukes up, and I whistle. I will attack on sight. That puts him. No fan of the sun. It would be better than this. You got your dukes up. Uh, that will tell him to uh, be aggressive, and then if I put my weapon away. And my hands down at my side, and I whistle. Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. The only drawback to it is that you have to have it equipped. I say with with air quotes, meaning uh, I can't have a uh, a shout uh, equipped because it's the same button as my shout. So I can't have unrelenting force or kind's peace or whatever readied. Uh, I have to have this readied instead. Um, I think. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Uh, unless... Can I... 
hotkey this? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. What, I can't hotkey 9? Okay, so I can hotkey it. Oh, I guess that's kind of cool, so... Okay, so 1 through 8 are the only hotkeys that I can use, I think. Uh, so yeah. Okay, interesting. Candlelight I had in 6, and uh, Conjure Wrathman I had in 4. Okay. So, uh, we just picked up a book here, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll take it back from him. What are we trading? <laughs> uh, I'm going to take uh, Madrisi's notes from you. A load on my mind enables Inigo loading screens when in Inigo's inventory. I don't know what that means. Read, random thoughts to occupy the intervals. I once shot a man's hat off at 60 paces. If he hadn't ducked, I would have got his head. Uh, Incy teensy spider, I shoot you in the mouth. I like Skyrim very much, to oblivion with those who don't. I am a tree-loving, bow-twanging, disease-resistant snake machine. <laughs> I am going to need a bigger bow. <laughs> you handle the fancy stuff, and I'll stick to stabbing people with pointy things. My foster mother was Khajiit, but my foster father was Argonian. Some found their union hard to understand. They were just mother and father to me. The note continues, but the other entries are illegible. Okay, I don't really understand this, though. Enables Inigo loading screens when in Inigo's inventory. Does that mean I leave this in his inventory, or do I put it in my inventory? I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, we took the book back from him, and it has been suggested by Inigo that I give him back his book, Inigo the Brave, and I think somebody in the comments said I should give him back his journal, too. Maybe he'll write more in it. I don't know. I wasn't told why I should give it back to him, but I did. All set? Yeah, man, I'm all set. Uh, so... Let's let the reading continue while we read... Uh, where'd it go? I did pick up those... Madrisi's notes. Whoever this is, or was. The Journal of Madrisi Dran on Anga Angarvund, which is not where we're going, we've already been there. Whispers of this ancient temple have been few and far between and most real knowledge seems similar to Ad Angervund itself, buried and forgotten. Yet every story or legend I hear all seem to speak of immeasurable riches found deep within. Great treasure waits for the worthy adventurer, said one old fool after many false flirtations and tankards of mead. Though he may have been a nuisance, his information matches most of my research, specifically the location of Angervund. Tomorrow, I will hire a mining team to assist me in my excavation and head towards the ruin. By this time next month, I shall be rich, MD. Well, did we come across his body in Angervund? I don't remember. I don't remember Angervund at all. This was his camp, fire still burning, food still cooking, bedroll still rolling. But like I said, that's not what we came here for. We came here because we're going over here to this other, other place whose name I've already forgotten. Uh, hopefully Inigo's still coming with us. There he is. Keep hoping that Indigo and Serrano will have a conversation, but they just met. So maybe it'll take a little moment before... Ooh. Unhappy Troll. Unhappy Troll, he says. That's cool that he actually mentions the actual enemy. Oh, he's actually running away. No, he's not. He was just getting on the path. Ah! <laughs> 
unhappy troll. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, how are we going to get up here? I need to make sure that my companions can follow me up here. Okay, here we go. This is looking promising. We have discovered a vanch... a vanchenzel. Ooh. What do you think? Should we go in? I think we should. Although now that I think about this, what am I doing? I am, oh, I'm taking the lexicon here. Surely I still have the lexicon in my inventory, right? I mean, if it's a quest item, certainly couldn't have gotten rid of it. It just says lexicon. Is this the one she gave to me? Heck if I know. I mean, I can't zoom in on it. There we go. That It's beautiful. Why she wanted us to return it, I'm not sure. But she seemed pretty disturbed. Anything you want to say? Huh? Something on your mind? Yeah, do you have any thoughts? I'm thinking, what is Mr. Dragonfly thinking? <laughs> what is Mr. Dragonfly thinking? If you need anything else, just ask. Okay, I will. Well, let's go in and see what happens, man. Let's get some light in here. Let's do a little bit of crouching here, because we don't know what water who's in here. I don't like this place. It feels like we're being watched. It's a simple job, Drennan. We get in, we steal the lexicon, we leave. Don't get jumpy. If you two cannot handle this, we can find others to hire. Enough. Their services will be more than adequate. Let us continue. Hmm, this sounded like ghosts to me. But they've come here to steal a lexicon. So maybe this is like the whole story of she stole the lexicon and now she's being haunted, so she wants me to return it. I don't know. Making stuff up. I heard three voices a woman, a man, and uh, an older woman. <laughs> did you see the little roll he did? <laughs> that was awesome. Do it again, Inigo. Do it again, man. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's great. Oh, oh. Okay. Dwarven spiders. My uh, weapon out, probably because I changed my uh, these things before, right? Or yeah, this I want to put in slot one. Okay. These things offend me, says Inigo. Huh? Thank you, Mr. Dragonfly. Uh, I don't know. I keep taking this oil with me. I mean, you know, you could sell it. There must be extra levels to this place, you could tell from the icon on my compass there. Meaning, you know, we have to go through another door. 
Um, which way did I come in from? Is this the way we came from? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. All right. So we are going to go this way. Dresser. Nothing really useful in it. Or valuable. You got any thoughts now? You want to talk? Dwarven spiders are really not very spider-like. The sounds they make when I hit them are uninteresting. <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa, what was that? Look at this. This place is unbelievable. Indeed. Avanchenzel is as much a library as it is a city. Built to hold the vast memories of the dweller. <laughs> One of those were Khajiit. Don't know if you noticed the tail. So we're seeing something that perhaps happened in the past. Okay. Let's see what's over here before we go that way. Some cool gears here. We've got a little chest here on the wall. Take some of that stuff. It's like a long way down. Oh, there's some spiders down there. Some steam here. Oh, whoa, hi. Boy, where'd you come from? So look at that. Okay, Inigo's finally attacking. I wonder what makes him decide to attack. I guess maybe... Like, he sees somebody hit me, he, he attacks. But Because at first he just walked and watched him walk by, which is kind of what I told him to do. You know, don't be aggressive. So, that's cool. Hmm. Gosh, I'm kind of getting far away now. Kind of thinking that maybe I should have gone through that door back there. The reason I didn't is because if you'd look, when we're back here, the compass makes it look like this is where our destination is. That's why I didn't go this way. But now I'm thinking... This is something else entirely, but maybe not. Who's there? I mean, we really should have no trouble fighting these things. I mean, when did that thing go? It like disappeared. You're already dead, says Inigo. Let's watch them fight. All right, that was pretty cool. Take those bolts and the gem. Oh. Oh my. Dwy Dwarven Damn. Spider Guardian. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And again, I kind of want to see them fight him. Yeah, uh, uh, here, let's lure him in here. Tough day for you. Inigo, look at this. Inigo is not fighting. He's running around. He's not fighting. And I don't think he'll fight... Let's see, okay, I got my weapon out. Now he feels free to start shooting. Damn, dude, what are you shooting over there? <laughs> Does he have some exploding arrows? Holy crap. Gee whiz. That was pretty impressive, dude. We got a ramp going up here. How big is this place? We got a door down there. Huh. Huh. Okay, this place looking kind of big, huh? Hmm. That'll take us to the boilery. We need to go this way. Balcony? Is this the way we came in? I don't know, man. Lots of places to go. We'll go in them in the next episode. Let's see what happens here. Let's see here. Um. What if I, um... Yes. 
Whatever you say. Have a seat. What, did he get up? Why'd you get up, dude? Sit in the chair. Dude. I wanted you to sit in the chair. We're all gonna sit in the chair. I want us to all have a seat at the table. It's really easier to just do this. I will aid you if I can. I feel okay. like. Lead the way. Huh? Oh, maybe I. Yes. Here, have a seat. Fair enough. Here. Come on, sit down. Have a seat. Okay. Now. Stay there. we should be moving along not sitting about okay she goes and sits down I have a feeling when I sit down he's gonna get up so what am I doing sitting here <laughs> this makes no sense <laughs> dude yes my friend uh you mind if I ask you something sure hey um do you want to relax here for a bit you must be joking I cannot relax here my friend Okay, so he can't relax here. I am all ears. Okay. Huh. Yeah, he will not relax here. You are still busy? Remember to get me when you are done. <laughs> okay. I was going to see if he would read one of his books, because <laughs> he said he would. But he did say he has to be in a place where he feels safe, and he apparently does not feel safe here. And who can blame him? We're in these old ruins, and there's... Dwarven spiders and I am guardians here. <laughs> and such popping up out of the walls. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come up next time, we'll keep exploring this place and we'll see if we can't make Inigo feel a little bit more comfortable. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me, leave me a like or a comment. And those of you who have been leaving comments, I sure do appreciate it. Thanks so much for doing that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.